Welcome everyone to one more session in image processing and computer vision tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to learn about Huff circles. Now, in the last session, we studied about Huff lines and uh, it detected several lines. Okay, several lines. And now in this particular session, we will see how to detect circles, the circular curves in our image. So, let us begin. Let us begin by importing cv2 library so we will import cv2 as cv then we will import numpy as np so i am importing numpy as np np and then i will read the image okay i will read the same balls image over here so let me write img 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 equal to equal to cv dot i am read i am read cv dot i am read and over here i will write d dash dash data sorry img data it's img data okay dash dash input input dash dash balls balls dot jpg balls dot jpg okay and we will we will convert it into gray so img underscore gray img underscore gray equal to cv dot cvt color cv dot cvt color and we will write img comma img comma uh, the color cvt cv dot color so color underscore underscore bgr bgr2 gray bgr2 gray now we will just read the uh, read the image okay sorry show the image actually so i am show i am show i am a g image sorry it's image i am a g e it's image and i am give i'll give i am g and then let me just put the weight key okay weight key cv dot weight key okay and then destroy all the windows okay so cv dot destroy cv dot destroy destroy all windows all windows okay cv dot destroy all windows oops we have done it again okay so we have cv dot wait key and cv dot destroy all windows so let us see the image first of all okay let us see the image first of all and then use the half circle method okay so let me just run the code and you see over here we have got our image okay so this is our image let me close it and now over here let me uh, let me just use the half circle method okay so i will just write circles equal to circles now this half circle method will give two things first of all it will give center okay center of the circle and radius of that circle okay center and radius of that particular circle so let me write circles okay all the circles all the centers and as well as radius will be stored in an array known as circles okay and which will use which will get all these things by cv dot half circles method okay cv dot half circle half circles let me press tab okay so first of all i need to give image so let me just give img underscore gray img underscore gray and then we need to give a method over here okay so we need to give a method for that we can we can give cv dot hub underscore gradient okay so cv dot hub h o u g h underscore gradient gradient okay so let me just press tab hub underscore gradient then we need to have distance of points okay so the minimum the unit distance so over here the unit distance will be one okay and then we need to give the minimum distance okay the minimum distance of, uh, of two points so it can be it can be 20 okay it can be 20 minimum distance and then we need to give parameter 1 and parameter 2 over there pass the parameter 1 so let us pass parameter 1 parameter 1 param 1 equal to equal to 50 okay so parameter 1 over here the parameter 1 actually gives actually gives the the value okay the gradient value 
that is used to handle the edge detection okay the edge detect can edge detection and we need to pass the parameter to parameter to can be the uh, the edge detection in case of average value okay accumulator threshold and over here you need to keep in mind that parameter 2 is always is always less than parameter 1 okay so uh, so you need to we can we can just give 20 over here okay so it's less than the parameter 1 and then then we can give the minimum radius and maximum radius so min radius min radius now if you want some value as min radius then you can give 20 10 or something or you can give 0 and max radius okay max radius maximum radius can also be equal to 0 so if you don't want to give any constraints to your circles then you can give minimum and maximum radius as 0 and 0 so this was about the half circles okay and now what we will do is we will use the for loop okay so for for it returns it actually returns a tuple okay a tuple of x y and radius so we will write x comma y comma radius for x comma y comma radius in in and then we will give circles okay so over here let let me just type uh, circles okay let it be circles or else let let it be data and this data will be converted into unsigned integers okay so let us convert first of all convert this data into unsigned integer np u unint okay u unsigned integer u int 16 okay we will convert this into u int 16 and np dot around np dot around and we will write circles circles over here okay so we want to convert the whole data into integer values and then then uh, operate over these data values over these integer values okay because it's easier to operate over these integer values than to then in pixel values okay so zero then colon okay so for x comma y comma r in data we need we can draw a circle okay so let us draw a circle cv dot cv dot circle cv dot circle and over here let me give img as image then let me just type let me just type uh, the the coordinates so coordinates are x comma y okay then we, we we need to give the radius so radius is r okay then we need to give color so color over here can be blue so 255 comma 0 comma 0 okay or comma 0 or it can be purple so let it be 255 comma 0 comma 255 okay then thickness over here can be 2 okay so the thickness is 2 so this is the circle now let us save it and let us run our code Oops, we see that there are a lot of circles over here because uh, the, the, the image is a bit distorted, okay. So, what can be done? Over here, first of all, we can just pass 30 in parameter 2, okay. So, the larger this parameter is, more accurate will be the result, okay. So, you see that now the result is more accurate, okay. The threshold is more accurate. Let us change it to 40 and then look at the result okay so you see that it's more accurate over here okay it's a bit more accurate now what can be done is we can also enhance our image okay so img underscore gray img underscore gray equal to cv so to enhance the image we will we can use uh, median blur okay so let me use median blur cv dot median 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 blur median blur okay cv dot median blur let me press tab first of all the source okay so source will be in img underscore gray and kernel size okay so over here the kernel size can be 5 okay kernel size can be 5 and now let us run the code you see that now they are perfectly detected. The circles are perfectly detected because we have smoothened our image. We have smoothened our gray image. Okay. So let me just comment this out. Let me comment this out and show you the gray image. Let me show you the gray image. You, If you don't know what is smoothening and everything, then you can check out the lecture. Okay. 
the lecture on image smoothening technique so this is the img gray and now let me uncomment this out and then run the code okay now you see that now we have more enhanced image okay so over here we are using this more enhanced image so we are getting a good result okay so you can see that we have detected all the circles over here okay so this was about this was about detecting a circle in detecting a circle in image but what about video can we do it same with video yes exactly we can just uh, capture it and then we can uh, we can store it in the image okay so what can be done is we let let me just comment this out okay i will comment all these things out this one this way and this way okay so let me comment all these things out and now over here i can just write cap okay cap equal to cv dot video video capture video capture cv dot video capture okay zero comma cv dot cap underscore d show cap underscore d show okay to remove the warnings we have written cap underscore d show okay and then we can we can write while loop okay we can have a while loop so while true while true while true then we can give this comma frame or img okay directly img cap dot read cap dot read okay so we have read it and now what we can do is we can just convert it into gray and we can use the median blur okay and we can copy this code till here okay let me copy this code till here and paste it over here so i have pasted it okay i have pasted it and now what if there are no circles okay so what if there are no circles so we need to use this myth method when this array is not empty okay so for that what we will do is we will we will just write over here if okay if circles if circles is not none if circles circles is not n o n e none okay if circles it's not none then only run this code okay so let me just paste it over here okay then only run the code over there okay and then show the image now we will use the wait key so if cv dot wait key wait key of one equal to equal to escape okay so whoops it's one and equal to equal to 27 cv dot wait key equal to equal to 27 then break from the loop okay break from the loop now let us release the capture so we have we have released it and then destroy all the windows so destroy destroy all windows okay destroy all windows destroy all windows so we have destroyed all windows now okay so this way we can we can do the things okay first of all we captured the image then we converted into grayscale then the gray we have blurred it okay blurred it a bit and then we have created all the circles and if the circles aren't none then we have drawn it okay so we can save it and then run our code okay so let us run our code over here okay so now i have our hand okay i have my hand and you see that the circle is getting detected okay circles are getting detected now what i'll do is i will show this okay you see that it's getting detected okay i can move uh, farther further okay i can move it further so you can see that the cap is getting detected okay and if i if i just drop it okay if i just drop it from below so you see that the cap is getting detected okay so even if i drop it or do something it's getting detected so this way we can detect our circle okay let let me just press escape key let me press escape key and now 
we can we can look at the code okay so let us revise what we have done first of all we had captured our video then we have shown each and every frame in the video then we have converted into gray and then we have blurred it okay we have enhanced it actually we have enhanced the image now we have uh, given the circles okay we have detected the circles using half circles method and if there are uh, if the circles array is not empty then we have converted the circles array okay we have uh, extracted the data of circles array and rounded it off to integer and then stored it into an, a new array known as data now what we have done is we have we have just uh, we have just stored it in the data okay and then we have extracted x y and r okay let me just write d a t a data over here and you can see that this is a two dimensional array okay this is a two dimensional array so i need to start from data okay i have to start from data at 0th index okay so i need to start from here and all the rows okay? so i have uh, done this we have done this and then what we have done is we have drawn the circle okay we can also draw center of the circle by giving x y and one radius over there so it can also point out the center of that particular circle so this way we can do the circle and as you saw in the video that even the incomplete circles even the incomplete circles were recognized okay so it it actually the machine recognizes it at as a bit distorted image and then it completes the circles using half circle method so this was about half circles method that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session thank you everyone